Hello again. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna go over the speaker fabric that I use to put around the receiver and in front of the subwoofer. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can get them on uh, Amazon or eBay. It's, it looks like this. It's just like a fabric. It's called like speaker fabric. And again, <laughs> they use it on speakers because they let the sound go through it and gives you a nice clean look on the installation. And on this one for the subwoofer, I just use Velcro to, you know, it's very light. So I just with Velcro. And you can see the SVS uh, subwoofer and it just fit in there. And this is what I did. I just basically just cut a piece of wood, a frame, put some Velcro on the corners. And you stretch the fabric, fold it. And you can use like hot glue to glue the fabric to the wood. It looks pretty bad, the back of it, but nobody sees it. And once you turn it around, you have a nice, clean uh, okay. cover there. The subwoofer is very nice, but I don't like to look at it. <laughs> so, having that cover in front of it gives my system like a, a cleaner look. And I did another one around the receiver. Uh, and the reason I did that, one, I wanted the receiver to kind of have a, a clean look as part of the entire system here but I also have the center speaker on top of it it's a nice center speaker but I don't like to look at it so let me see if I can remove it just one second it and like the other one the other panel is just a piece of wood that I cut and I'll turn it around so you can see what it actually looks like and the, I cut at the bottom to match the receiver size and the one at the top for the center speaker and I didn't have to put any Velcro to hold it because the receiver itself will hold it. And this is a Martin Logan uh, Motion 8. It's an excellent uh, center speaker. And I built this rack as well. I got some metal shelves and you can pull it out. It's a lot of wires on the back, but you 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 can slide it out to connect, uh, you know, wires on the back. And then once you're done, you just push it back, and it's in there. Uh, I don't like to see the wires. Uh, I kind of like to keep it a clean look on on the entire system. So let me just put this back. Okay, it's back there. And I use the same metal shelves for the sides. And I have some fans. Let me turn it on. That's the and I, I use this little remote uh, to Turn on the outlets on and off. 
uh, as much as I like Alexa and some other home automation uh, devices, sometimes I just like to keep it simple. <laughs> And with this, I'll just turn it on and off, and, and that's it. I don't have to call Alexa or anything. And right now, I, I turn the lights on. And the reason I have those lights, because when you're watching a movie, it gets really dark in here. And sometimes you want to turn some of the lights. Uh, I also got this. I just turn it up. I got it on Amazon. Uh, let me get a good angle here. It's called AC Infinity. I use for the fans. Uh, their fans are really good. But I end up uh, changing them. Uh, I change those. You can see inside they're kind of beige because uh, they're the noctuous. Uh, I, I, again, I, I don't remember the model number, but I, I'll put it on the description. Same thing for the AC Infinity controller. Uh, it doesn't really get too hot in here. But it's just nice to have some extra fans. And I also have this controller. So you can uh, adjust the fan speed. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I just use uh, like a hard drive, an external hard drive case, install it in there. And uh, I connected the other fans to it. Uh, there's a fan on top of the receiver. You can't really see, but. There's a couple of fans on the top of the receiver, behind it, and four on the sides. So two on each side, and one, no, actually it's one on the bottom of the receiver and one on the top of the receiver, so six. Then the AC Infinity fans, which are controlled by this controller here, uh, controls the ones on top. Again, I have the light on, but... So yeah, I'll turn the light off and it kind of looks a little bit different. Uh, turn the light on. And I'll show you the top. I'll keep it quiet for now so you can actually hear it. I'll put a link on the description for the fans. So if you're planning to do something similar. And that's what it looks like. Uh, of course, when I'm watching a movie, I have the lights off. <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, I'll do another video now with the, the full system on so you can see what the projector looks like or, or the image looks like and the sound with those uh, SVS subwoofers and that will be my next video. Uh, thanks again and uh, I hope you find it you know helpful for you.